Marco is going to give us a lesson on a triple S clutch. Go ahead, Marco. Go ahead, tell us how it works. Thanks, Steve. You're welcome. Essentially, when the pinion speed matches the output of the motor speed, the clutch stays engaged. Like so. So, as when, soon as when the these, speed when these starts, what, what is this part called? The, 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 that grid or whatever. Yeah. So when that's this, that's a so, so so when it's when out, it is engaged. When the pinion starts accelerating past it, the falls inside of this piece here. We'll start bringing this in. So essentially, what I'm doing here by turning the opposite direction of the pinion is I'm simulating the pinion acceler. Without the pinion moving, I'm simulating what would happen when the pinion would accelerate faster than what the turning gear is turning. This would come in, and then this would simply rotate. With this being free, so this is rotating, this is free, and the clutch is disengaged. And show us what it looks like when it engages and how it turns. Okay. The clutch engages. The slip ring, the, the bevel gear set will turn out, and then here, the clutch is now engaged. And let's turn a little bit so we can see what happens. Uh, yeah. Now it's engaged, and we have the gears turning. All right, that was uh, Marco from FGGS Turbine Team. Thank you very much. Thank you, Marco. You're welcome, Dave.